Hi everyone. Now, if you're just getting started, I would like to quickly go over what a ketogenic diet for cancer really is about. The ketogenic diet is not to be confused with a low carb or modified Atkins diet where you are only restricting carbohydrates and not protein as well. The ketogenic diet is a well-established medical treatment for refractory pediatric epilepsy with its use in the United States dating back to the 1920s into the current day. Prior to this, fasting and fasting mimicking diets can be seen dating back to biblical times to use for disease prevention and control. Compared to a Western standard diet, the ketogenic diet is significantly higher in fat with little carbohydrates and adequate but not excessive amounts of protein. When following a classic or three to one ketogenic diet, individuals are aiming for at least 80% of total calories to come from fat. By doing this, the amount of available glucose or sugar that provides energy, energy to our body is decreased. When this happens, the body is stimulated to break down its own fat for fuel or use fat as fuel in the process, creating ketone bodies like acetoacetate, acetone, or beta-hydroxybutyrate. This can happen to normal individuals who go very long times without eating, like a day or two, or if you're following a proper ketogenic diet. Known as the fasting mimicking diet, the available ketone bodies can cross the blood-brain barrier and are a critical energy source for our cells when glucose availability is low. If you are following a medically supervised ketogenic diet for cancer, it is critical to decrease your carbohydrate intake and also your protein intake. There is a reason behind this. It is necessary to restrict protein because protein intermediates like amino acids can get made back into glucose, which can be used as energy within all of our cells. I do not believe that everyone can benefit from a ketogenic diet who has a cancer diagnosis. However, I do believe that most Americans need to lower their overall carbohydrate intake, especially those coming from refined and simple car carbohydrates like breads, crackers, cookies, chips, and especially sugar. I have personally seen the diet work both ways. I have seen true miracles come from proper implementation of the diet, and I've also had people be very miserable on the diet. It really depends on how it makes you feel and how you can fit this into your daily routine and lifestyle. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions and I hope you find the information that you need.